Hello everybody, Lathander here. I just wanted to take a few minutes to talk to you about a lovely new tool that I found for Guild Wars 2, and you probably just saw what it does right there, um, called YOLO Mouse. Uh, and I don't know about you, but I always find it very difficult, or I do find it very difficult at times, to find my mouse when stuff is going on, whether it be a large uh, world event, like Tequaddle, or uh, the Shatter, not the Shatter, the Shatter is easy as Yes. Um, but uh, Jormag, um, any any of those big world events or world versus world when two Zergs collide me, you know, there's a lot of bright flashy stuff going on and you're trying to figure out where your mouse is. I've had a number of occasions where I've let go of the right mouse button and found myself uh, tr getting very frustrated trying to figure out where my mouse is on screen. So I went looking and I found a program called YOLO Mouse. There are a few uh, programs that do very similar things out there, uh, but this is the one that I thought looked the nicest. It really doesn't fit the game aesthetic, but that is fine. The, the game aesthetic is very minimalistic, and that right there made it very difficult to do what I needed to do. And that is locate the bleeding mouse, because the mouse is a very minimalistic design, as I was saying. This one reskins the mouse depending on what you're doing or what you have moused over, um, be it friendly players, be it enemies, interactable objects, interactable NPCs. So for me, in, uh, enemies and monsters and critters all come up if they're out of range is a little gray circle or a red circle if they're in range to be attacked. Interactable NPCs show up green. Um, as you can see, I can, I can interact with them because they give you that green option. If they're not interactable, they stay blue. Uh, interactable objects, uh, I don't know where any are, come up with a yellow um, little cross, like this one. Uh, if they're in range, it goes orange. And uh, I find this stands out a lot better than the default mouse. It's really nice. It's it, it, it does so. It, it does it so so well. Um, I haven't had any problems. I haven't had any real issues. Ah, oh, there's an interactable yellow and an orange. Once you get close enough, and it's still there. So I will turn it again. Hey, there we go. And. Uh, yeah, that, that's that's pretty much it. Uh, setting this program up is very simple. There's a tutorial in uh, on the web page where you download it from, which I will include in the description below. Um, <clears throat> and it's a, a, a simple matter of uh, holding down Control Alt and Shift, and either pressing the one, two, or the three key. By default, it has three different crosshair types or mouse types. Um, one that looks like this, one that looks like that, and one that looks like an actual cro vertical plus style crosshair. And then uh, in addition to that, um, there's uh, 4 through 0, which I think 0 is the one that made the Nyan cat that doesn't show up in the camera. Uh, it's a little tiny little mouse cursor that has Nyan cat. It's a gif with it, which is actually, it's kind of kind of neat, but uh, because it didn't show up in the camera, I didn't, I, I decided not to use it that end. Um, it might get a little, little distracting in a game like this. Uh, you can customize the cursor for pretty much any interact interactable object, but keep in mind it is somewhat limited, so um, all, all targetable creatures that you can attack will show up with whatever you choose for this, regardless of whether they're hostile or non-hostile, non um, both when they're in range and out of range. You have to configure every one of those things, so you can't just uh, click one and then choose to have it apply the same overlay to both. You have to do it individually for the two, um, but there are only... oh crap. There are only so many things that you have to to bind, or that you have to set up. You can change the key binding that allows you to change the cursors, uh, and um, because it's an installable, it is actually a program, uh, it's very easy to set up. You know, you just install it and away you go. 
In addition to that, you can set you can set it to start when Windows starts, which is kind of nice. So you don't have to launch the program like Guild Wars 2 Personal Overlay Assistant, which is another which is another uh, tool that I will be doing a video on later. And it's it's handy. It does its job and it does its job job well. There's no delay when you move the mouse. It just tracks over top of the mouse cursor and the overlay is there. Ooh, big event. Ooh. I want the gathering first. But there you have it. Um, unlike with uh, with ooh, what was it? combat mode, I really don't... Well, actually, I didn't really know anything about combat mode either, but I was able to help with some of the issues that I had experienced. Uh, with this one, I didn't experience any issues, so if you do have any problems, unfortunately, I won't really be able to provide any assistance in getting things working. Um, I can try. If you leave a comment in the comment section below with the issue that you're having, I might be able to recommend a suggestion that helps, but I can't guarantee anything because I don't, <laughs> I don't know anything about it. I'm just, I'm just your typical tech. I, I, I know a little bit about troubleshooting and <laughs> certain things that help, but you know, Windows, Windows 10 is a, is an operating system I haven't done any troubleshooting with or for, uh, so. The amount of assistance I might be able to offer will be relatively limited. That said, I hope you found this video informative, educational, and helpful. And if it did, leave a like and a comment down in the comment section below. If you don't like the program, let me know, let me know, let me know why. And, uh, uh, you know, I like to hear these sorts of things. If there's something that you figure out that I am unaware of, I do like to know these things. Because as a typical tech, you know, I, I like to learn things. I like to know about tech-related stuff. So, uh, yeah, let me know. Let me know what you think. Is it helpful? Do you find it? You don't need it because you're able to find the cursor without issue, regardless of, the, uh, of what's going on on screen. Let me know. That said, thanks for watching, everybody. Let's end her out.